magnetic resonance imaging of the brain. To understand this, it is necessary to at least know some very basic physics, even though this may seem to be boring. MRI is based on the natural magnetization that is induced in the human body when it is placed inside a strong magnetic field. There are two basic principles of MRI. Atoms with an odd number of proton or neutron spins, and, a moving electric charge produce magnetism. What happens, when we put a patient into the magnet of an MR machine? The hydrogen proton forms the basis of MRI. Hydrogen ion is one of positively charged atom in the body having magnetic spin. Hydrogen ion is an unpaired positively charged proton. Every hydrogen atom is a tiny magnet which produces a small but noticeable magnetic field. Hydrogen is abundantly present in the body in the form of water and fat. MRI utilizes this magnetic spin property of protons of hydrogen to produce the image. Essentially MRI is hydrogen or proton imaging. A proton has a spin, and thus the electrical charge of the proton also moves. A moving electrical charge is an electrical current, and this is accompanied by a magnetic field. Thus, the proton has its own magnetic field. In natural state, hydrogen ion in the body are aligned in a random fashion and spinning in a haphazard fashion to cancel all magnetism. When the body is subjected to a strong external magnetic field, this, however, changes. Then they are aligned in two ways either parallel or anti-parallel to the external magnetic field. Half of the protons align in the line of magnetic field and the rest in the opposite direction. At room temperature, the population ratio of anti-parallel to parallel is 100,000 to 100,006 per tesla of magnetic field. The extra protons produce net magnetism vector M. Net magnetization depends on the magnetic strength and room temperature. And external RF waves can manipulate the net magnetization. Externally applied RF wave, topple the direction of the net magnetization from vertical direction to transverse direction. When the RF waves are stopped, the exited hydrogen atoms come back to its original state, they emit back the absorbed RF energy, which can be detected with the help of receiving coils and converted into images by computer. In short, the four basic steps in getting MRI are Placing the patient in a magnet, sending RF pulse by coil, receiving signals from the patient by coil and transformation of the signals into an image by computer. When a patient is subjected to a strong magnet, the hydrogen atoms in the water of the body lines up along the magnetic field, some in the direction and some in the opposite direction of the external magnet. RF pulses are sent in causing the spinning atoms to flip into another direction then relax back when the RF pulse is turned off. This recovery process is called relaxation, shall continue soon, thank you.